All right, hey jam friends, I'm ready to show you how I put on my jams. Um, I have done a little bit of research, just you know, googling or YouTubing actually on different methods um, in my own troubleshooting in the last you know few months that I've been wearing jam cures. And this is kind of the way I put on my jams. It's kind, of, it's a combination of a few different methods, um, but I like it. So I have prepped my nails. Ta-da! Um, I use my cuticle pen, pushed all the cuticles back. And um, I've done that step. What I haven't done yet is the swab step, the alcohol swab step. Um, and I kind of go back and forth between using acetone and alcohol. Some people really feel like the acetone um, works best because it really dries your nails out. But then there's a downside because it really dries your nails out. Uh, and then there's the alcohol, um, which I I don't I use them interchangeably. I I want to try out the um, Jamberry liquid that they that um, I just learned about but I haven't tried that yet so I've been using one of the two of these now I want to say that this is like I in the beginning I was kind of like oh, I don't need to do the alcohol so I'll just wash my hands and it was great my jams were lasting like five days five days right now I'm super into this like swabbing my nail um, cleaning my nail off and I'm, I could probably leave my nails on for like 15 to 20 days like honestly I just the growth the growth grows and I like to change them. So uh, this step is super important for doing your nails. Some people say go ahead and, um, you know, alcohol swab all your nails and then do them all. I alcohol wipe each nail right before I put my jam burning out. So for today, I'm going to put this one on. Why? There you go. I'm going to put this one on, <laughs> on my ring finger. It's a good model. So I'm going to start first by really wiping off my nail. Um, I, with alcohol, I get it really nice and prepped. Then I'm grabbing my sheet. I'm using Athens Matte today. Um, and I know that this is my size already. So I'm going to measure it and then I'm going to go ahead and cut. And I'll take my orange stick here and peel off the wrap. So here it is, all ready to get warmed up. Got my mini heater right here. So I'm pushing on my heater. This is a matte finish, um, so they don't actually need that much heat. So maybe I'll count to four, one. Oh, it's already turning, two. Okay, so three, four. If you can see it, which I'm not sure if you can, it's bent a little bit already, which means that it got heated up enough. So I take my finger that I'm gonna apply it on, and I just very gently I get it close to my cuticle, but not touching my cuticle, and then I put it on. Now, I haven't pressed it yet. Um, this is where I grab my little pusher, <laughs> and this is something I learned in somebody else's video, which I think is amazing. First, I push down. Let's see if I can show you guys. First, I push the middle first, so from the bottom to the top, and then from one side over, and then the other side over. So I really like to do this on a flat surface. I'm just going to take a second here. So because you really want to press, you really want the pressure. So middle to the top and then to the side and then to the other side. So ta-da. Now I follow that step with the baggy method. A very trusty Ziploc bag. Um, this seals the edges, seals the tip. So I take my finger and wrap. My bag is so well loved, it has holes in it. I need to find a spot that doesn't have holes. Okay, I wrap my nail around and as tight as I can. I wrap my finger now in there. And then I kind of fold it, grab my heater, give it about five seconds, and I move it around a little, make sure I get the sides. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that was my step two. Um, and then step three, I take this very fancy cuticle pusher um, and I heat up the metal piece and then I take the minute to really push down. So step three, get your mini heater, get your pusher, and I, and I heat it up until it gets pretty hot. Um, probably should have left the heater on. And 
then I take this and I just use it as a tool, you know, to really push down the cuticles, push down the sides, and just give some more pressure, 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 getting that jam on my nail. Okay. I think before I discover that, I would do two baggy methods. You can do that. You can skip it all together. Um, and then now you can see, if you can see, um, the wrap is like curved over the top of my nail. It's really pressed down. I'll wait for it to cool. So what I like to do is do all the other nails. And then once it's cooled down, I'm going to come back with my scissors and peel it up a little bit. And then I cut. So I have my nail facing me so I can see. I cut. I don't file usually at this point. First I cut um, my nail. Not my nail, sorry. I cut my wrap. I don't cut my nail. I cut my wrap. But sometimes I can cut my, sometimes you do cut, you can cut your nail too. Like on my, when I do my right hand and my left hand and my scissors are kind of like, oh, I just cut with a nail cutter. And then I can use my nail wrap. And I really like to file at a 45 degree angle. Um, not straight up, not at a 90 degree angle, but you only want to file from up, you only want to file up down. Because if you file side to side, you'll mess up your wrap. And the reason that I file at a 45 degree angle is because it, it, it creates a very tiny piece of your nail at the top. So if you have a tendency to do, use your nails like tools, as they say, which means opening your phone battery case or opening cheese sticks. I mean, I use my fingernails as tools all the time. So it just creates a little bit of a buffer of, of um, for your tips to be used as tools without damaging your jams. So that is one done finger. Um, the whole process takes me 25 minutes to do all 10 fingers. It's really fast. I leave my heater on. I just boom, 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 do each nail, cut them, file them, done. Um, and then, you know, you want to make sure you're using proper, proper cuticle care after. So I wait until the night after, or the night, if I do them in the morning, I wait till the evening to put some cuticle oil on, um, or the next day. And that's it. So there's my wrap. I use the baggy method and the cuticle method. Oh, wait, I wanted to talk about one more little little thing because this is kind of important. So <clears throat> I'll post a link in the bottom of in the comments of this video because this is this is important. Um, this is the one that I have on right now. OK, it's a mat. So if you look on the back, you can see that it's it's the color. It's a hard one, but you can see you can see the color of the wrap or like this one is a good example of that. You can see it's just the color of the wrap. Um, but if you got a sparkle wrap, ooh, sparkly. If you got a metallic wrap, ooh, shiny. <laughs> or if you got a satin or a luster wrap, the back is going to look really different. The back is going to be silver. Can you see that? It's a silver back. Silver back. Now, I have found that with these wraps, they do not need a lot of heat at all. Um, and if you start to use a lot of heat on these wraps, they're, they're not going to last. So I strongly recommend the cold, the cold um, application method for these. And I'll show you just super, super fast what that looks like because I think it's so important. Um, because I got really frustrated in the beginning with these wraps because I was like, what's going on? These ones aren't lasting. And it was just too much heat. So here's a little teeny tiny pinky one of this pretty sparkly one. Um, and what you do with a wrap that has a metallic back, I mean, or like a shiny silver back. Cold application, no heat first. First, put the wrap on your nail. <laughs> use the pressure. Um, and then I use the same exact other two steps that I use all, that I use for everything, just a little less heat. So then I use my baggie, maybe for three or four seconds. And then I use my cuticle pusher, get it hot and put it on. So that's how I apply um, anything with a silver back, cold application first, and the heat on the top. I'll post um, a video from Beauty and Jams because I love her uh, under these comments too about, I think she calls it the reverse heat method. I like it. And then I'm going to share one more video called the one, two, three method, which I've not tried yet, but 
seems cool. And it seems like it might replace the baggy method. Um, okay, let me know if you have any questions. That was a lot of information. <laughs>